the burden of debt that weighs down on so many businesses. And by extending and updating the furlough scheme, so that it's better able to help people back into work. And he set out what he described as a bold and innovative idea. If I were Prime Minister, I would introduce a new British recovery bond. This would raise billions to invest in local communities, in jobs and in businesses. It could help build the infrastructure of the future, investing in science, skills, and technology of British manufacturing. It would also provide security for savings and give millions of people a proper stake in Britain's future. Sir Keir Starmer, he said such a bond would be aimed at many of those people who, through the pandemic, have saved for the first time. So how would a British recovery bond work? Mary in Somerset Webb is editor in chief of Money Week and economist at the Financial Times. It depends exactly what he's talking about. It sounds to me like he's talking about something along the lines of the war bonds that helped finance World War One, where you issue a bond with a special name on it that sounds all empathetic, encouraging. People buy it at maybe a better price than they might afford an ordinary guilt. That raises a whole pile of money that you don't necessarily have to pay back in a hurry. It sounds nice, but it's hard to see when you look at it closely. Not that we have been able to look at his plans closely yet. How it's different from an ordinary bond that uh, you know, the government sells to raise money. Yes, in fact. Okay, and governments issue gilts for the British government all the time where people put their money into it and then they get an interest on that. Absolutely, or, or no interest at the moment. I mean, no interest on lots of uh, government funds while bonds are extremely low. So you get almost nothing if you invest in a newly issued bond at the moment. But that's how the government.